Uh, hi, this is Phil, and I realize it would be easy just to um, record what the view in the web feature is because uh, it gets a little confusing in terms of the path you have to put in. Uh, basically, recording the web is just a way of uh, seeing what a web page or a file would look like on the web. And this is my home site. Um, at first, this didn't work for me because um, I, uh, under settings, edit. Um, what you do well, what you do is, is you put in the, the the root, the website root um, domain um, for the website. What the URL would be up to this point. At first, I didn't put this in, and so when I click on that uh, file, it does an error. It gives me an error. And that's because if you look at the URL, what it does is it inserts the directory root for the FTP as part of the path um, of the web address, and that's incorrect. In other words, this is what the this is where the file is located um, in public HTML as part of the FTP directory, um, and what um, your web service does, your web hosting service does, is it um, directs the the um, web address directly into this public HTML folder so uh, you don't need to put it in the web address so if I go to edit advanced and I put in um, slash actually I'll just go here and copy it and I put this in here as the prefix for the website, um, when I say OK, now when I hit View on the web, you'll see now that the web the the web address uh, uh, is correct now. It doesn't have the public HTML folder there. It just says the the correct website address. In fact, I actually have a my web hosting set up so that actually brings in the same. Um, home page for my site. Um, it's a little confusing. Um, if I if I go up a level to my root level here, public HTML, um, any of these pages would work set up correctly. This is the root level of my site. If I go up a level again, and let's say I try to show, see none of these are really web pages, so there's nothing much to show. Uh, if I try to f view this on the web, uh, it didn't find there's no such page access log, so it didn't see it. Um, but if I actually went back here and I edit and advanced, I took this out at this point because see that file isn't located in that directory, it's looking for it there. Now, if I do access logs view in the web, it still doesn't find it because this file doesn't exist. But the, at least the path is correct. Um, hope I clarified. Is it? It's not, you know, a, a necessary tool to use. It's sort of a convenience as a way to view what a website web page looks like without having to cut and paste the uh, the um, the website uh, the web file name into the URL in a web browser. Hope that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions.